All right, welcome aboard to KTM 690. This is the bike I've been dreaming for the longest time to replace my Tenere. Let's see how I feel about it after this test ride. You can definitely feel it's a thumper. There's some vibrations. But doing 60 indicated, the vibration is not bad on the handlebar. The feel of the bike is definitely enduro style of bike because it feels so light and nimble. Let's try standing up. Oh yeah, feels super nice. And it's very, very narrow between your legs, especially now that I've been driving the Tenere. You can definitely feel it. Yeah, it's uh, rather quick to turn. I feel like my uh, Honda feels a little bit more nimble, but still pretty close to the same. Yeah, it likes to likes to pull for sure. I don't have any traction control or ABS on at the moment and uh, my insurance is 2000 euros if I fall so I don't want to do anything super crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a violent beast. Oh, there's uh, some mad crowd here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it feels so nimble compared to the Tenere. You can't even... It's pretty stupid to compare these two bikes. This is an Enduro bike. Tenere is more of a cruiser. But yeah, this does have a lot of power. I'm not taking advantage of all the horsepower that this has in this small little road here, but it has plenty of pull. Yeah, plenty of reserves. It likes to pull the front end up as well. Oh yeah, pretty easily. It, uh, the front does become light very, very easily. The standing position is pretty aggressive, actually. I like it. It's very close to what I feel on my Honda, but the bars are a little bit more wide, I think. But the positioning on the bike is very nice. Yeah, it feels very easy to ride this forest roads with this one. Oh yeah, super nice, super nice. There is some vibration, but doing these speeds in off-roading, it's not bad, it's not terrible, but uh, I will try the on-road performance and vibrations later, doing a hundred at least. Yeah, it does like to drift this one too. So there's plenty of power to pull you in some trouble if you want to. It's crazy to think that they take this much power from that single cylinder engine. This feels way more fast than the Tenere 700. Of course, due to the weight difference. You can definitely feel the 50 kilos that the Tenere weighs more. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a fun bike. But do I want one? Oh, that's a tough question, actually. I'm not sure yet. The clutch feels very light, very nice to nice to use. Yeah, that's a quick ride off the tarmac. It definitely feels very nice. Let's take a, just a quick pull here because this is a little bit faster. It feels nice, it feels firm, but nice. Yeah, very, very easy to drift this bike. There's so much top-end power. 
there's not as much low and grunt that there is on the Tenere but when you really pull RPM range up that's when this bike feels alive it it becomes a violent beast this one oh yeah wow there's so much power oh yes this is a trans euro trail beast oh how fun would it be to take this on a long trans euro trail trip across europe this is pretty much the perfect bike to do it in let's try the highway speeds even though this is not meant to do that but still it's a 690 so you have to be able to so much power so I'm doing about a hundred hundred and ten indicated and of course because there's no fairing I'm getting a lot of wind in my chest and it's not really comfortable compared to the mid-sized adventure bikes but it's not terrible and there is vibration on the handlebars that you are gonna get a tingling sensation riding this long distances like this let's drop it down to 90 indicated and see if it calms down a little the mirrors are stable at this speed stable enough i would say and the vibration doing a 90 indicated is uh, it's manageable it's still there it doesn't go away but uh, Let's see a pull from 6th gear, 90 A little bit of an uphill it still take, It's still doing it, but it's not violently fast You have to put a lower gear, like 5th gear And now it starts going, yeah Okay, let's turn here Oh yeah, the brakes are really good, really, really, really good, and a nice braking feel. Feels almost like a road bike brakes. Of course, it's due to the weight. This bike is like 160 kilos, I think. Wow, there's a lot of power on tap. It's not insane like some leader bike rocket, but still, you're riding a bicycle. <laughs> it's crazy how much power they take from that engine. Okay, now we're cruising at 100. And it's pretty stable. It, it is vibrating, but still you can see the bike is very stable going, going here at highway speeds. The mirrors doing a hundred, the mirrors are getting blurry. They are vibrating so much that you can't really see anything from them. Let's test the brakes again. Oh yeah, they are really good. Very good brakes. No complaints from me. Yeah, I can feel the vibration definitely in the seat and in my handlebars. Even you touch the handlebars doing a 60 indicated, you can definitely feel that there's a lot of vibration here. Maybe you could lessen the impact with some bar weights, I'm not sure. But it is a thumper. And if you've ever ridden a Honda CRF 300L, it doesn't vibrate like this bike does. This is a way more vibey, but of course, it's also a bigger cylinder, so you would expect that. Yeah, it pulls the front end light very easily. 
in this speed. I didn't even remember to end the video in any way, so I'm just gonna do this voiceover on top here at the end. So what I think about the KTM 690, I, I actually rode both the 701 Husqvarna and KTM 690 on this event, and uh, I think the bike is a very good travel touring bike for tricky terrain, so it's easier to ride than these heavy mid-sized mid adventure bikes. But that being said, on asphalt, doing 100 kilometers an hour, it's a very uncomfortable bike due to the vibrations. So even my Honda CRF300L is more comfortable doing 100 on asphalt because it, the bike really doesn't have much vibration at all. So I'm a bit puzzled about this choice. Um, I'm actually not gonna order the bike as of now, but if I were to drive from Finland to Romania doing Trans Euro Trail, routes only i think these bikes would be probably the perfect middle ground because the mid-sized adventure bikes are a bit heavy and bulky and especially if you travel alone they can be even dangerous so it's a good bike but you should drive it before you buy it